hijacking my entire computer. Can I upload my video now? I just got done uploading Vlogmas episode one, which is right here. So apparently YouTube has this new thing where you need to have your video private or unlisted first to make sure the monetization is good. That way you don't lose out on any money. Tell them about your obsession with Ride. I love Ride. Do you love Ride? What's wrong with you? <laughs> ride is amazing. I've been looking up um, spinning classes back home in Cali. So that's how much, that's how much pressure they're applying. So I love Ride. I blame Isokan for this because Isokan was the one that introduced <laughs> her to Ride. And it's been, I have not been able to hear word since. Yeah, we're obsessed. Who's we're we? Obsessed. Oh, Me you want to so uh, mm -hmm. please clarify. I love Rod. Free free promo for them. Yeah, free promo. Honestly, they should be paying you soaking for all the referrals that she <laughs> <You know? laughs> I thought you were gonna say paying me since it's going on my yeah, platform. Yeah, you should be paying you, of course, but Isoken. <laughs> is the one that applies pressure. I hate this pressure word. She's always saying applying pressure. It annoys me. No, she's gonna miss it when I leave, so that's in the, like the end of the week. Yeah, she's leaving in a few days, yeah. and I'm kind of sad, so. Yeah, we're silly. <sighs> All right, let's move on. <laughs>a video using some Pat McGrath products that I bought before Rona. So here it says Pat McGrath Labs and we have all this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. The Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. I don't remember what shade I even, I don't even, I can't even return this stuff, can I? Matte Trans Divine Brown. And this is the Lust Gloss. Not a fan of the names, but Okay, hey, this was the main thing, ma'am. This is the Mothership 6. This eyeshadow palette feels weighty. Like, it feels... Hey. Here we are. There was like a sale or something like that when I got these. Baskety, bus, 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 baskety, bus, bus, bus. I don't know, y'all. Like, for the amount of money I spent on this thing, I want it to be more wowed. Maybe when I start using it, because definitely these metallics are speaking to me, but the mattes, I don't know. I probably would have preferred something deeper, you know? I don't want to swatch it yet. I'll wait till the actual video. This is the Lust Gloss in Flesh Astral. This one's a lipstick in Divine Brown. Bait. Ooh! Baby, yes, I cannot wait to get this on my lips. Y'all, it looks... Anyone who has this lipstick, can you please tell me if this is safe? Because I'm a little bit concerned. Do you see the little fibers? And I tried to look closer and I was like, okay, is it embedded into the lipstick or are they kind of protruding? And you can see the outline of the lipstick. They're kind of protruding. So I don't know, are these fibers, little hairs, the... She's definitely giving me a Jaclyn Hill original lipstick launch moment here. And uh, pretty sure it's too late for me to return this. I might just go ahead and risk it and swatch it on my lips, you guys. I just... <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh my gosh, what a waste of money. One last thing is a setting powder. Hey, good. Oh wait, well maybe... Mm. Maybe it might work for my under eye. Maybe. We'll see. I'll have to test it out in a video. That's what the Flesh Astro Gloss looks like. So, I was going to show you guys these cute... Oh, by the way, I plan. I'm a little planner or whatever. I have not been doing a good job of it this year or the year before, but I continue to buy planners. But I wanted to show you these super cute Christmas icons... Icons, girl. Christmas stickers that I got off of Etsy. Super duper cute. And I've had this one for, I think, two years now, but I I haven't used it. So I 
just figured I might as well just use it. They're so stinking cute. I have a light on, by the way, like an extra light because, yeah, that's the only thing I could think of at the last minute to help better illuminate. This is so cute. And then these, I tend to not really use these kinds all that much, but it came in a set. And then we have other Christmas ones in here. Let me just, I guess, show them to you. And this is the same thing, but in a more pastel ish type of deal so i used to use the um what you call it erin condren planner but i stopped because it was way too expensive once you put all the customization and everything together so this one that i get is from um michael's uh, i think it's online i get the horizontal calendar because i just oh sorry vertical i meant to say because I just cannot, oh dang, the pastel ones actually goes with this better than the red ones. I'm just gonna use the red ones anyway. But um, this one I get because it's a lot cheaper and it's pretty much similar to the Erin Condren planner. So you see the day up top, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then it kind of like splits into three. That way you get, you know, kind of morning, afternoon, night, if you want to do it that way so let me show you guys like a previous month see as i told you i have not i don't know my marker i have not done <laughs> ah, much of anything using this so unfortunately this is all i have so i forgot to mention that this planner these hey english all right, I actually forgot to mention that this planner comes with stickers inside of it as well. I think the Erin Condren one does too, but I feel like the Erin Condren stickers look way better. But we have these. I haven't used them yet. Like, <laughs> y'all, this is so bad. Like this whole year. I took this to my 2019 planner too. Why can I not open these for the life of me? Sheesh, okay. And then here's some more stickers. It comes with like little emojis on there too. And yeah, these are just... These are ugly. Well, some of them are. To me. To me. Let's get that straight. But I think I'm going to use... Um, this is from a previous planner. I think the 2019 one. I ripped it out of that one so I could try to use these this year. And uh, as you can see, I didn't use many of them. So I'm going to use some. I like that it comes with... I, I already used some of these. But like doctor's appointment, vacation, happy birthday, stuff like that. So... I prefer the Etsy ones. They look a lot better. Well, some, I don't know, some Etsy stickers be looking a little funky, but you know, these are a nice little moment or whatever. I might rip this out and put this in my 2021 planner because yeah, I need to <laughs> put these things to good use. So I want to mark the days that I'm working, but I don't have, I ran out of my little work stickers that I got from Etsy a while back. I've been using them for a few years and they were really, really good. Let me see if I have an example of them. From a previous okay yeah here they are so you see how they say work and they just go in the little corner on the um on the what do you call that ah on the okay the month view right so let me hide that because that has <laughs> that has my um it has my weight on there and i don't it's like a little weight uh sticker i don't want to reveal that so yeah, you see how it just says like work in the corner. Yeah, I have to check my um my Etsy cart, my Etsy account to see if it's on there. But I like these to like see as a as a hey god, I like these as a visual indicator to let me know like I'm working that day when I look at the month view. <gasps> Hi. Good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping her off. Y'all, look at this girl. She made tacos. And she's using a mug with my name on it. I don't understand. Your problem is? It's my mug. It has my name on it. <coughs> Lord have mercy. I look like a freaking angel. <laughs> the full Picasso. You're me. Quit playing with me. <laughs> Stop. You're cute. I love it. How do you like too. it? I honestly, it's really- Is it better than the like, one in California? Okay, I would say it is because this is supposed to be classic. Not light volume, not volume. So I pay for classic 
and mm-hmm. I got light volume in a way. Mm-hmm. And like she added like a wispy type of situation. Ugh, I just and it's classic. She applied pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I like it on you. This is probably my favorite lash set you've ever done. See, this is why you just need to move to Houston. <laughs> so you can get your get your lashes done the right way, boo. Wow. The right way. And she did it really fast. How long, like, how long did it take? Okay, so I got there 12. Or it's supposed to be 12, right? Mm-hmm. And then maybe like 12.10 we started. Well, did, did she? Was and she... I called you at 1.20. No. How long? 117 it, or something. Well, how long does it normally take them to do your lashes? Anywhere from an hour 30 to two, three hours. Three hours. Good morning, guys. Um, if I look really dry, it's because I washed my face and I need to get rid of some hair. So I don't want to do the applying of oils and lotions and stuff until I've got that sorted out. So I'm going to kind of show you guys like how I get ready to film kind of in a way i'm gonna be filming today and i wanted to film two videos but i think i'll only be able to get one done um later today i do have a zoom class so i need to um get stuff done i really wanted to edit this video and upload it today before the class we'll see i don't know i'm about to put my wig on i haven't worn this wig in a long time i prefer glueless wigs wigs that don't apply me having to apply hairspray because they're just easier and I just, I don't, I don't, I don't have the time. I don't, I don't have the time. But I love this wig so much and it's from um, the Nomzy collection. So yeah, let's apply that. Try to prop this camera up using some boxes. Girls be like. <laughs> okay, this is the one bad part about these vel velvet thingy majiggies wig grips is that they have a tendency to kind of roll back. I noticed when you're trying to like pull the wig backward I have more practicing to do when it comes to this kind of like wig application I have got to be but um everyone was like raving about the Tiggy bedhead one so I got that one too I got like the little three mini trios I don't know why I'm spending money on these freaking like I, I barely wear lace front wigs that, that require this level of application. Doesn't help that I can't really see all that well what I'm doing. Oh, I, I forgot people do a double like double layer, right? I may have gotten some of this in my eye. See, this is why. This is why I don't bother. Probably could have put a little bit of powder on the lace, but it's too late now. I guess I could tell you guys what happened with my um, speeding ticket. In August, I was on my way to work, and um, I guess I was speeding. Mm, okay, fine, I was, but. <laughs> I didn't realize how fast I was going <clears throat> until I see a cop. And I'm like, oh crap, let me hit the brakes real quick. Lo and behold, I pass by and I'm like, oh Lord, please don't let him come after me. Don't let him come after me. And sure enough, he does. Great, lovely, right? But at this point, I'm like, Lord, please don't let him give me a speeding ticket. And um, he stops me and he's like, oh, um, uh, you were going, I think he said 78 and a 65. One of those. And he asked for my driver's license. I give him my driver's license. And then he goes to his car to go like get my, I guess like look up my information or whatever. So at this point I am begging God, like Lord, please don't let him give me a speeding ticket because that's just money I don't want to pay, you know? He comes back, he hands me my driver's license. He's like, okay, I'm just gonna let you off with a verbal warning and you know, just be careful next time, don't speed. And I was like, hey! Hallelujah! Yeah. Like I was so happy, and I was so grateful. I was like, Lord, thank you so much, thank you so much. I'm not gonna speed. Like I'm not. Like I'm sorry. I forgive me for speeding. Okay, I get to work. Of course, I was at work. I got to work a little bit late, but I still got to work without a speeding ticket. Months go by, you guys. Oh, I'm using the Nomzy Collection um, flat, not flat iron, hot comb. I'm gonna just use this to kind of press down up here, and then I'll use my um uh what you call that my um straightener oh is this lifting lord have mercy 
No, I use my straightener to um, get everything else. So, so November, like mid-November, I start getting mail from different law firms. Like, I think it was two of them. They're like, oh, we can help you out with your speeding ticket. Just hire us, da da da. I'm like, what a speeding ticket? And it said on there, like, oh, we see your, your court date was early August, da da da. I'm like, what court date? Like, what? So I'm thinking this is just one big mix up. They got somebody else. There's been some fraudulent activity going on, something, right? Y'all, I didn't think anything of it. A few weeks go by and I get a letter, letter from the Houston, like, whatever courts that handles like traffic violations and they're telling me your court date has been changed to january i'm like what court date i never got an initial notice of a court appearance so i got a notice of arraignment which is like them calling you to court and i was like no 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 no, no. this is ridiculous and it, it it mentioned that it was for speeding it didn't mention the initial date of the offense but it mentioned that it was for speeding so the next day I call, um, I call the courts and I talk to somebody at the maybe like register or whatever. And um, she looks up my information I get, cause there was a, like a case number on there. So she looks up my information and she's like, oh yeah, I can see here that um, you got a ticket late August, but the officer, uh, but the court date had been put in for early August. So when they saw that in the system, they're like, no, 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 there's no way that this po this is possible. So the court date was changed. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. The officer told me he was just letting me off with a verbal warning. Why am I getting a notice of arraignment? She was like, oh, well, you know, it's in the system, da, 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 da. And it's possible that he put the ticket into the system. Once it's in the system, it can't be deleted. And the reason why it was put in in August, but didn't show up until November is probably because there was a glitch in his like in the system being updated as far as like his ticket information i'm like what i have never heard i've never heard of this before in my life you guys like i literally wanted to cry like it's so unfair he told me that he wasn't going to give me a ticket he literally just handed me my license and was like okay i'm giving you a verbal warning you know and so i was like okay first of all when you get a ticket aren't you supposed to sign that you receive the ticket like when the officer hands it off to you the lady goes well no based on you know the current events da, 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 there's no contact blah 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 fine there's no contact but i handed him my driver's license and he took it that's contact what difference is a pen anyway so now i'm having to deal with that and i'm really 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 upset you guys like i no i mm -mm, i'm not <laughs> i'm not standing for this so i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure out what to do if you guys have any suggestions let me know because it's really really unfair and I don't even know if the judge is going to believe me that hey he said he was letting me off with a verbal warning I mean I have text messages to prove it because I I, I um, contacted my little sister like after the fact and told her so I have that my thing is if he shows up to the court date right to the court appearance will he even remember Will he, will he even remember ever, like, and you know, well, actually, did I have, no, I didn't have a mask on, but he did. Will he even remember telling me that he was letting me off with a verbal warning? Like, I'm trying to stay positive about it and I'm just like, okay, well, it's already in the system and, you know, may the judge have mercy on me. That's just what I'm praying for right now. Y'all, I've been spending an hour just trying to get ready to film. I haven't, I don't even think my brushes are clean. <laughs> Girl, this is what happens when you don't have a desire to film and then you wake up and you're like, let's film. Nothing is ready. I pray my camera batteries are charged because that would be very bad if they're not. I love this wig, y'all. She, she did that with the color, baby. She did that. I feel like such a bad wig mom. I didn't have this hair like nicely set out somewhere where it could like, you know, be upright and you know, it was kind of like jumbled up somewhere. So I'm having to do a little bit of extra TLC. I'm gonna lay down the edges. This is the part I get nervous with. I'm gonna be using the Nomzy Collection Sleek Stick um, to smooth down the flyaways. I love that it twists and it doesn't pull. See how I want it to pull? Oh, and it has a protective cover, you guys. 
Oh, this is so because it gets so, these things get so messy and I've never seen any of them that have a cover like this and actually twist. And I have I have the ones the ones I have you have to push them both from the bottom. No, I think one is a wind up, the other one is a um, pushing from the bottom. But neither of them have a protective cover that prevents stuff from getting everywhere. Because that's usually what happens. Don't laugh at me, you guys. I'm still learning, okay? I'm still learning. Oh lordy. Oh my god. <sighs> it lifted right here. Look, it's a whole mess. The whole thing lifted. Oh. Oh my gosh. If y'all gonna clown the lace front, so y'all just gonna clown it because I'm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ooh, I think it's mixing with some of the product that's already on my hair. Don't talk. Maybe it's me. I need to go get rid of the excess hair that I, I put so much of this straightening serum on it because it's starting to. The hair isn't flowing as good. Can her hair earn her an A? Can her hair earn her an A? This is the aftermath. Ugh, yikes. In case you can't tell, I already have my contacts on. This is dirty, I need to find a place to put this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my witch hazel first. I usually do this last, but because my face is like, I've been sweating and all that from trying to get this wig on, um, I'm gonna just do this to get rid of any excess Bacteria. Hopefully this comes off. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my little razor thingy. I like to use a zoomed in mirror. This mirror has, the battery has died though, so it's not, it's not lighting up like it usually does. So I need to actually get rid of all this. I like to get rid of my sideburns. So um, I feel like I have glue right there. I should have done this before I put the wig on because I would have maybe had less issues with um, with the glue sticking on. Oh, that's coming off. Great, but it just flew away because the fan's on. I got a lot of hair off. I just wanted to show you guys just a little bit of some of it. Next thing I'm gonna do is tweeze my brows. Now I don't do this for every single video, but if I haven't filmed for a while or I just haven't like groomed myself for a while, I'll do this. Um, and I love having like sharp brows. Sometimes I'll use my little um, brow razor to do some grooming around the brows, but tweezing is just more precise for me. So some people only use this one time. Um, I think this is my second time using this one, so I'm going to toss it and throw it away. I mean, I guess you could use it several times, more than just one or two, but I'm just like, uh, you know, for bacterial germ's sake, what's going on with the color on this video right now? I don't understand. So anyways, yeah, guys, I'm going to now go ahead and turn my camera on. And I think, let me make sure that I have my, what you call that in here. Let's turn this guy on and then do I have something in here no I'm gonna go ahead and put in my SD card and before I proceed let me just double check to make sure what I have on here is not something I need okay this is from the last video so all right, I can pretty much wipe this entire SD card. If y'all know what happened last time, I don't even want to talk about it. I I was just so upset. So, yeah. Hi, beautiful. Wait, come back. It didn't get you. You're kind of, you're okay. Bye. All right, guys, I'm going to end this Vlogmas here. Thank you so much for watching. And she's she's still here. She's still with me. Just be all the her vlog. Keeps pushing back her flight date but i'm okay with it because i you know i miss her and i love her and yeah anyways all right bye guys see you in the next vlogmas episode uh -uh. okay <laughs>